What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about the Walking Dead Season 7 finale discussion and some spoilers. So obviously, spoiler warning, if you don't want to know this information that it's likely to occur on the episode, I don't want to ruin it for you. So stop watching now if you don't want to know. For those who want to watch, here we go. Now, spoiler warnings have been going around, rumors, a lot of different things, and we're almost there to find out. Like the first one is about Sasha. Is she Holly? Is she that? And she basically confirmed being... TV show Holly. So is she going to have the Holly death? Yes and no. It's like a remix of it. So Sasha is rumored to die and I believe the rumors are true. Holly died in a similar fashion what they're kind of doing in the show but Sasha is going to be put in that coffin and it's weird because she didn't have to be put in the coffin but she kind of committed suicide by doing it because we'll talk about in a second what she did but she chose to do this path and go out on her terms and not to be used by Negan. So Sasha is at the sanctuary at the beginning of the episode. Negan comes to talk to her and says that somebody needs to die. And he's gonna he wants to kill three people. Punishment. Sasha says, no one needs to die. And then Negan's like, well, if someone needs to die, it's punishment. You know, I got to set the standard. I can't be no wuss here. So he's like, one person will die. Sasha kind of agrees with that or whatever. But And then Negan goes, all right, we're leaving in 45 minutes. This is after Negan gives her a big old breakfast. Sasha has a plan throughout the whole beginning of the episode and parts of the episode. We see this like weird lighting kind of thing. I guess a little bit like the finale of season six, but we'll see how it actually is done on the show. It's what we're hearing. So Sasha is in the coffin and that's what the lighting and stuff's going to be. You see, we hear Sasha listening to music with her iPod and she's listening to a song. It'll probably have meaning in the episode, but the big thing is that she's having flashbacks and fantasy images and actions with Abraham, kind of like 701, that she feels like if Negan and this didn't happen, she could still have the life with Abraham and it would be great. She would be pregnant. Abraham and her would have a baby and all through, life would be great. So it's kind of continuing that fantasy, what could have happened, what would have happened, what should have happened in a perfect world. See the little baby bump there. And it's kind of like Sasha knows that she'll never have this life. So why doesn't she just end it now, not be used for Negan to go against the group? It would have been nice to have Abraham here and maybe Sasha doesn't do this and whatever. And probably she doesn't do it because if Abraham's there, you know, maybe Abraham wants to go kill Negan or something. I don't know. It would have been totally different. And I wish Abraham was around, but that's a whole other story. And it just would have been nice to have that. So there's nice little flashback and fantasy things with Abraham and Sasha throughout a lot of part of the episode and you don't really know what's going on until you find out that she slipped into the coffin and took the suicide pill. She also has nice flashbacks with Maggie and a world that she would be with Maggie helping at Hilltop and it's just the kind of the same connection she would have with Abraham but with Maggie because you know Maggie's her other loved one and it would be great to see. But like I said, so Sasha leaves the cell with Eugene because they're going to Alexandria. So Eugene is escorting Sasha down somewhere, most likely outside where the group is waiting for them. A rat gives her a water bottle and Negan says, you don't need to go in the coffin, but she does. And right before it's closed, you see her take the suicide pill or it's obvious that she takes the suicide pill as the long drive to Alexandria there. She dies and she pops out reaching and scratching and clawing for Negan. Is she going to do it? Is she going to get him? Of course not. You know, that would be too easy to kill Negan like that. So it's like the Holly death, but she doesn't bite anybody. And I know that's what people were saying. Who's she going to bite? Tara Rosita. Nobody is what the word is saying. She leaves, she kills a savior and she escapes into the woods, walks away or something where Jesus and Maggie find her. It's very sad and they have to put her down because she's a walker and it's a sad moment on the show. So the rumors of Sasha dying on the show look to be true, and also the rumors that Michael Cutlass was filming in the finale are also true. So technically he filmed in the premiere and the finale as fantasy flashbacks, ideas, stuff that'll never happen, and it's going to kind of piss me off too to be like, I wish Abraham was there, and when I met Michael Cutlass, I said that to him, I miss you on the show, man, Yeah, you're awesome. And he said, thank you very much, gave me a big handshake, Sasha, Abraham, it'll never be and it's a shame. I'm going to miss Sasha. I miss her already, but she'll be missed on the show. So hopefully they make up for that. I just love this picture. This is from episode 609, No Way Out. Just the picture there too from Josh McDermott, his uh, Instagram. And I just love the picture there. So what do you think of the rumors, guys? Sasha, 
Abraham, we get to see a little bit of Abraham back. I'll take it, you know. You know, I'm glad they're not doing Glenn because then Maggie's in trouble. She's going to die, you know, even though I would like to see a flashback or something to Glenn. Maybe just Maggie thinking of him or whatever. But Abraham, I'll take it. So there you go, guys. That's the rumors. That's the world on the rumors, the potential spoilers. What do you make of it? Post your comments below. Check out the Walking Dead community page on Facebook. All are welcome. If you like this channel, you like the group. If you do like this channel, please hit that subscribe button. It'll really help us out. Join our team, Team PT, all the way. Can't do it without you guys. I'm super hyped for the finale. I can't wait for Sunday. It should be great. How about you? Post your comments. Let me know what you're excited about, what you hear, what you know. And as always, thank you for watching, guys.